this right here is a Nocto Discovery and it might not be understood however once I put another popular e-bike next to it you'll understand who it's marketed towards here it is next to the electric XP Lite these are 20 inch wheel electric bikes however this one has a fat 4 inch electric bike hey there buddy and Nocto has been around for a while they have been making e-bikes for many many years What's different about this one? Well, let's go over the parts. Starting down here, 160 millimeter front rotors with zoom mechanical brakes, 20 by four inch fat tires. And right here, the difference is a shock system, which is gonna smooth out the road and give you a nice pleasant ride. Moving to this side is a 48 volt by eight amp hour battery. It's easy to remove, it's just right here. Just pulls right out to remove the battery. Turn, pull up. There we go. Got it out. This sucker is heavy. I don't know how this is only 8 amp hours. But it is what it is. It is heavy. Moving on, you got a nice hollowed out mountain bike style pedals. And this right here. A Shimano crankshaft with a 6 speed shifter. Over here is a 350 watt motor. 160 rotors. Zoom mechanical brakes. And a nice and beefy kickstand. Over here, some sort of holder for maybe an accessory or, you know, a second battery, who knows? The seat is completely different than what I'm used to. It looks like it's designed for some skinny person. Unfortunately, I'm not that type of Asian. <laughs> Moving on, a rubbery, grippy material, thumb throttle, thumb shifter, and here's the menu. Brakes. All right, let's turn this sucker on. All right, there is a little bit of power for me to play with, and here is the horn. All right, quickly look at the menu. Here's the assist levels, which there are five levels, and you hold this down right here, the cur to a walk mode. Stop. Okay. And uh, down arrow, I believe, is for, oh, nope, it's a walk again. So to turn on the light, you just press the cur arrow once, or cruise control. I'm not sure why it's called cur. All right, it is time for the speed test. And Nocto doesn't have the spec on their website. So I'm just gonna have to go off 500 watts and 52 Newton meters of torque. So let's see how it goes. Acceleration is decent for a 350 base watt motor and it's at 16 already. 18, what the heck? So it goes 20, 21, 21 miles an hour, and it isn't even advertised. All right, we are going to do pedal assist, starting with level one of six, and I'm on, you know, gear six. We're at 10 miles an hour, level two. Around 12, 3, it's around 14, 4, 15.7, 16. Alright, we're going to do a street right here where there's no cars, nothing, and it's going to give me a decent amount of space because I am going to go all out on pedal assist, pedal assist 5. I think that's it. Yeah, five right here. Just to see what the max speed is with pedaling. And this is gear six. Okay, I'm just sitting in my seat. And we are 22 and a half, 23. So 23 miles an hour or 24, 25. Okay, 25, whatever. Okay, it's fast. For a little bike i mean <laughs> i'm an old fella i don't really go that fast but if you need to go 25 yeah this thing can get you there so among the smaller bikes the 20 inch category it is quite fast moving on to riding experience there are no kids around here am i gonna try this not a chance but this one yeah i could do this Whoa. Okay, <laughs> even that was kind of surprising. 
Look at this. You fall down here as a mid-age, middle-aged man, it's game over for you. You're not getting out. So I don't think I'm going to try that. But these right down. Oh, whoa, that was pretty cool. So let's try these steps. Oh, that was clear. That was steep. And I, I hit the bottom of the pedal turning into that. So this thing is kind of low. You got to be careful about pedals hit, hitting the bottom. All right, let's try the these steps because I saw some people doing it on the internet. So, you know, I don't have the nerve to do it, but let's try it. Oh, 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 oh. oh I didn't die, so that's pretty good. Well, there's a whole bunch of steps right here. You think I could do that? First time for everything, right? Including death. <laughs> Can you believe? Oh my goodness. Oh, this is a sweet track. Oh. Whoa. Sand. Sand. Those little sand traps can be kind of dangerous if you have skinny tires, but these fat tires just go right through them. Whoa. So it's handling this a lot more elegantly than uh, the hail test. Yeah, not bad. You want me to try the bicycle? Yeah. Here, use my helmet. Oh, thank you. So what do you think about the size of the bike? Um, it looked bigger in the picture, but actually it's small. <laughs> oh, really? But it looks cool. I like the wheel. Look, look, look. Let's try. Wow. It is ready to go, so um, just be careful. <laughs> okay. I feel this a little bit different with another bicycle. I thought it's the same thing, it just moved like this, but actually you have to control it with your thumb. Oh. <laughs> what about, how's your, um, your bum feeling? Your butt? <laughs> a little bit hard. <laughs> it's a little I bit feel, hard? Yeah, when it, uh, it actually is okay, but if it a little bit, when you go to something bumping, it's a little bit hard. Yeah, yeah, it's because this thing requires that it's it's like a a speed bike, okay? So you have to you have to stand up. Oh. It's an adventure bike. Oh, oh, okay. That's why. Yeah, that's why it's made for you to like jump around. So this may not be the bike for you, but you know, if you want an adventure, oh. this that's is, why the wheel look cool, right? Yeah. Yeah, looks strong. I want to try it. <laughs> Yeah, a little bit heavy. <laughs> it is heavy, huh? A little bit heavy, yeah. But you know it. It doesn't look that big. I mean, you're only five foot tall, right? Yeah. It's okay. And you could get on okay? Yeah, I get on okay. Okay. All right, well, thank you for your help. You're welcome. See you next time. Yeah. Moving on. All right, this is a 15% grade. I haven't ever had a 350 watt motor make it before. 
including the Jetson Haze, including the electric XP light. I am going full throttle and I'm at 12 miles an hour and here is the bottom of the hill and the it's unfortunately that, that this uh, e-bike doesn't have the motor of the Nocto Folding Ox, which was 500 watts. And one of the two e-bikes that has made this hill so far, yeah, it is unlikely at this point. I'm down to two and I am going to stop right at this curb. All right. All right, I am on gear three and we're gonna go full speed, throttle assist, and let's just see how, how fast we make it up this hill. See if it can rival those other ones. I mean, this thing picks up speed quite fast. I'm at 16. Okay, so here we go. Here is the battle. And it's not much of a battle. Gear three feels good as heck. I'm down to nine. But it's, it's quite easy cruising. Nine and a half. Nine. Yeah, so with the, the motor kicking in and helping, yeah, this thing is no problem at all. The funny thing is that the power dropped down all the way to three but it is gaining back up again next up time for the brake test i found this line laying in the road so i pulled it out just to mark where i'm going to stop all right we're going to get to 20 and then there's a green line where i'm going to do the full stop and green line is coming up okay 20. Hey, that was pretty good. These big fat tires, they do help a lot. Even when you're skidding, you feel stable when you're skidding with these big fat tires. Let's move on. Next up, we have a look at the size. All right, we're gonna have a look at the size of this e-bike, the Nocto Discovery. And since it's the same size as the wheelbase, it's the same size as the electric light, there's a good chance that this can go in, but not like this. Well, let's have a look. Whoa, this gets close right here. So I think if I just remove the wheel, well, let's try it. <laughs> almost, almost. So let's just try to remove the wheel. Okay, so we're gonna turn it to remove it. It should be pretty easy at this point. Yeah, the only downside is do you wanna remove the wheel or do you wanna fold the e-bike? I'll tell you, folding the e-bikes in general is not an easy thing. So hopefully it goes in now. Well, there you go, it does go in. It's just that this handlebar is a bit too long. So I'm just gonna have to move this seat forward just a little bit. Or how about we put the handlebar in first? Okay, so it's close to getting in. It's just the bottom needs to be propped up a little bit and we'll use its own tire to prop it up. There we go. All right, so the fit is going to be quite awkward. You see the bottom of the foot, it just sits on that little corner. So you're, I'm hoping that whatever vehicle you have should have a you know it's not symmetrical well it's not perfectly flat but it has bumps and ridges that's where the arm fits and back here see this 
the seat is just on top of, I mean, the, this tire is on top of that bottom tire and that's how it all fits and it is a close fit. Since we have it already, let's see if we can do something else and try to make it fit in a sedan. Probably won't, but you don't know until you try. All right, now we're gonna just try to fish it in. And move the pedals probably this way so it doesn't hit the seat right here. If I mess up this car, it's not my fault. It's not my fault. It's for the sake of knowledge, okay? Okay. This arm up. This handlebar around. Okay, so that's close. It's not quite. So the tricky part is this handlebar. It just has to go forward and then that one will go, here we go, that much. And that door closes, so let's just close that door. And, okay, this handlebar should just lift, corner. Oh my goodness, take a look at this, look at this, look at it. Oh. We are in the money. I can't believe I just fit it in this compact sedan. All right, so there it is in the car. I can't believe I got it in. This wheel can just go on the front seat like that. Wow, wow. So it's near my, my seat belt, but look at that. I can still buckle just fine. Wow, I can't believe I got this in the car. All right, so the idea of removing the tire, if you want to get it super compact, might rub you the wrong way. I don't think it's that difficult to do. And let me see if I could put it in. So you just align the wheel right there and then align these and they should just drop in. Of course, there we go. All right, that was it. That was real time too. And then you just hand tighten it. Okay, and back off and uh, back off some more. That's it. Uh, I guess because I've done it a few times, so I, I do have some experience with that, but it's not that bad, you see? And just like that, you're ready to ride. Next up, unboxing and assembly. You have to assemble the wheel, handlebar, front light, pedals, and rear seat. Moving on, the range test. Let's get started. As a reminder, this is a 48 volt, eight amp hour battery. It shouldn't take me that long to deplete, so this operation is going to drag on only for maybe half an hour to one hour of full riding because if I go 20 miles for a full hour, that's 10 miles, right? So I don't think it's gonna get much more than that, to be honest, so here it is. Oh, look at that. This thing ran out of juice. Okay, so the battery is a bit warm. I probably pushed it too hard. So I'm just gonna pedal back, let it cool down, and then I'm gonna continue this test. And for now, let's see how far this thing can go. Okay, so here's the low point right here. So I'm gonna keep it a little bit high because this thing actually pedals kind of well. So I'm just gonna 
pedal my way back. Oh uh, yeah, this thing pedals good. Look, <laughs> I'm going 16 on pedal. All right, so this thing has already gone 10 miles, but um, it's starting to shut off and you don't want it to shut off because there's too much draw all at once. Uh, the battery is getting warm. So now I'm just gonna go lower power modes, see how fast I can go. And it looks like pedal assist Okay, so pedal assist two might get up to a little bit faster than pedal assist one. But for the, the rest of the trip, I'm just gonna be cruising just to get as much mileage as I can. Maybe I'll get 11 or 12. We'll see in a bit. All right, so uh, this thing just shut off on me. And um, it's set 10. However, I know that I started when it was around 2.5. And let's just check the speedometer app. Let's see. 2.5 plus 8.3, 10.8, almost 11 miles. So that's the range I got on this bike and the battery is completely depleted. There's nothing left. So once I got towards the end, it wouldn't even uh, issue any bit of power. It would stay on and the lowest speed. I mean, it would try to go at like six or seven miles an hour. And that was it. Final thoughts. The Nocto Discovery is a fun and stylish electric bike that offers an aggressive look with medium to small bike feel with the ruggedness of fat tires. With its geometric design and moderate power, it encourages active adventures where you as a rider are heavily involved and at the same time not tired due to the assistance the 350 watt motor provides. There are some things I wish were different, like a longer lasting battery, a tighter fit with the battery to prevent the noise it makes, and a rear light in case I deviate to the streets. The bike is quite simple, it doesn't fold, and that can also work to your advantage because the frame feels solid and I never felt like it was at risk when abused. The bike is priced at just under $1,000 and if you use coupon code TRUTHER60, you can save 60 bucks if this fits your criteria, which is a smallish bike that is great for flat land, great for mountaintops, great for trails, great for discovery. Anyhow, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, share. See you in the next one. Take care.